Aloha and welcome to our video on glacial landscapes. In this video, we'll talk how glaciers erode the land. We'll identify some of the key landscape features created by glacial erosion and glacial deposits, and we'll identify the depositional features caused by glaciers. Now, glaciers are nature's bulldozer, and you can kind of see that is illustrated here in our picture. And glacial erosion is caused by two different ways. We can have plucking, which is actually lifting and moving of rocks, and then we can have abrasion, which is actually using those things trapped under the ice to grind and polish the surface it goes over. So we'll see that we can move stuff away, we can take stuff, but we can also grind stuff down and polish it through abrasion. Now, one of the key things that we'll notice are these striations. And striations are gonna be like you see back here, these grooves carved by glaciers. And as these glaciers are moving, sometimes they'll actually carry something large enough that it'll just leave a groove through the surface, or the glacier itself will groove the surface and we can kind of see where they are and how they moved. Now, if we look at a valley glacier, we can see that we had the valley here, and then we have a glacier that'll form, and then after the glacier is retreated or melted out, we'll see that there's a lot of geologic things that are left behind. We can have horns, which are gonna be these really steep mountains, um, like the Matterhorn over in Switzerland, and you'll see pictures of that in the lesson. We can have arets, which are these really sharp cliffs that are gonna be kind of here. We can have cirques, which are gonna be these little rounded bowls here, or these tarns, which are gonna be actual rounded depressions. So we can see a bunch of different things and we'll go through these a little bit more detail inside your lesson. Now we have three different kinds of glacial deposits we wanna go over. The first and probably biggest known is gonna be the till and this is actually the material that's gonna be deposited by the glacier. So anything that is picked up and set down as it moves on, that's what it's gonna be. Sometimes we can have what we call stratified drift and that's gonna be part of the till but that's gonna be laid by meltwater. So as the glacier melts, you're gonna have this stuff being carried away, and it's actually gonna be stratified or layered based on size, and we learned that when we were talking about river depositions. And then finally, we have what we call erratics. And erratics are gonna be these large boulders that are gonna not match where they're found. Um, they can be anywhere from a small boulder size to larger than a house that were picked up by a glacier and traveled thousands of kilometers and deposited in the middle of fields and things where they don't match the surrounding rock around them. When we're talking about these landscapes formed by glaciers, one of the big things we're gonna focus on are these moraines. And the moraines are just gonna be these accumulations of till, and we can see different kinds of moraines. Lateral would be on the end, or the sides of the glacier. Terminal is gonna be at the end, and then we can have recessional, and that's gonna be where it's backing up. So as the glacier is getting smaller, if it's been there for a period of time, it's gonna leave some terminal moraine, and we can kind of see these different layers, and that'll give us a clue as to how big the glacier was. Some of the other things we hear a lot about are these kettle lakes, and the kettle lakes are as the glacier is retreating, it's gonna leave behind these chunks of dead ice. These chunks of dead ice are gonna be buried down as they're gonna create these depressions, and as they melt, they're gonna form these kettle holes, which will then fill in with water, and we call them kettle lakes, and these are really popular up in Minnesota area. So here we can see a retreating glacier, and you can see it here. Retreating means it's gonna be shrinking down this way, and we can see some of the things that are left behind. You can see that it's gonna leave this ground moraine, this nice rich deposits and things that are coming this way. We'll have the terminal end moraine, which shows us how far it was, the furthest point that it got to. We'll have recessional end moraines, which those will be periods where it stops and deposits more. Um, we also have these little drumlins here and eskers, which are going to be like these longer grooves here that are going to be carved out. And also we talked a little bit about kettle lakes. So as you go through the lesson, you'll learn a little bit more about glacial landscapes and what it's doing. But just remember, it's just from this force of being able to drag stuff across the surface of the planet. And that's what these glaciers do. Okay, so that's it for our video. As always, good luck on the lessons and we'll see you in the next video.